In this video, I'm going to show you how to take an image like this that's in color and turn it to an image like this that's in grayscale. And I'm going to show you three ways to do this. One, I'm going to show you how to use a for loop. Two, I'm going to show you how to use a vectorized method. And three, I'm going to show you how to use OpenCV to do the conversion for you. How I would like to set up this code is in three segments. The first segment is going to be any type of setup code I need, importing my image, setting my figures, other types of setup. The second part is going to be the actual grayscale manipulation. The third part is going to be showing my image. So let's get started. Uh, let's start by importing different libraries I'll need. So from matplotlib, import pyplot as plt. I also want to import numpy as mp, and I want to import this library time, because I want to do some timing. So now, uh, section one. Uh, this is going to be setup. Let's import my image. So first, let's make sure this script is saved in this RGB2 gray folder that I'll show you has this rainbow image that I want to convert to grayscale. So this rainbow, RGB2 gray, RGB2 gray. So everything's in the same directory. I can say my image is plt.imread, uh, rainbow.jpg. I want to create a subplot. I want to show my original RGB image and my grayscale image. So figure axis is plt.subplots, one row, two columns. So that will set them side by side next to each other. I'll need to do some other stuff in this section, but we'll get back to it. Uh, section two, I'm gonna leave alone for right now. And section three is going to be displaying images. So in displaying images, I'm gonna do uh, PL, no, axis, axis zero, dot I am show, image, axis zero, dot axis is off axis zero dot set title is going to be um, RGB then I'm going to say plt dot show and let's see if there's any errors and we can correct it doesn't look like it it just shows my RGB image so everything is set up correctly Okay, so now we can work on the grayscale. On the grayscale, for all of these methods, we're gonna be using the following formula. We're gonna take my red pixel, and we're gonna multiply it by 0 0.299. We're gonna add that to my green pixel, which is multiplied by 0 0.587, and we're gonna add that to my blue pixel, which is multiplied by 0 0.114. Now, if you add up the coefficients, these numbers right here, you'll get one or 0.999999. You can change these values, but you should be sure to try to make sure that these numbers add up to one. We're gonna start by using for loops. For loops are not really the way to go about this, and we're gonna see why. But conceptually, they're easy to understand what we're doing. We're looping through each of the pixels, every row and every column, we're taking the red value, the green value, and the blue value of the pixels. We're putting them into this equation, and then we're coming up with a new grayscale value. Uh, we need a few things first. Uh, so we actually need to know what the shape of my original image is. So row column channel is going to be equal to um, image I am dot shape. And so what we're going to do is we're going to loop through for r in range of row, for c in range of column. So this is going to get me every row and every column. Then we're going to pick out the red pixel. So the red pixel is going to be image of whatever row and column I'm in of 0. Green pixel is going to be the image of whatever row and column I'm in of one, and blue pixel is gonna be the image of whatever row and column I'm in of two. So this is my red, my green, and my blue pixels. Okay, so now 
I'm going to have a gray value. This gray value is going to be equal to this equation. So I take my red pixel, I multiply it by 0 0.299. I take my green pixel, multiply it by 0 0.587. Take my blue pixel, multiply it by 0 0.114, and I get a new gray value. Now I need to put this gray value somewhere. So what I want to do, and the way I do this, I create a new array uh, that has the same number of rows, the same number of columns in only one channel, right? An RGB image has three channels. This grayscale image is going to have one channel. So then this new gray value, I look at this grayscale image I've just created. I say whatever my row and my column is that I'm looking at. So this row of the RGB image is going to line up with this row of this grayscale array. And I'm going to say, all right, this is my grayscale value. So do the calculation, get a new grayscale value, put this grayscale value in this image gray. And then the last thing I need to do is display this. So instead of axis 0, I'm going to say axis 1. Instead of image, I'm going to say this is going to be image gray. But because it's a grayscale image and because this takes a long time, uh, I don't want to make this mistake. I want to say, OK, my color map is going to be gray. And this set title is going to be gray. Now, I said I wanted to time stuff. So I want to time how long this for loop takes to do anything. So my start time is going to be time.time. .time. After this gets done with the for loops, my end time is going to be time.time. .time. And here my elapsed time is going to be end time minus start time. And then I can print elapsed time is plus, let's make this a string, elapsed time uh, seconds. Let's not do anything fancy. Uh, let's just print out the elapsed time. Okay, so let's print this out and see how long this takes. All right, so it looks like it finished and it took 240 seconds. So just about four minutes to actually to actually perform this calculation. So that's a long time and in a lot of image processing applications it's just not going to be uh, an acceptable time if you have to perform multiple type of uh, different operations on an image. So instead of going through the rows and the columns Let's comment this out and I let's uh, comment. I think I've made the hotkey of comment to stop recording. So um, <laughs> so we'll just comment that out. And instead we'll do a vectorized method, but we're still going to use the same equation. So the equation is going to be we're going to have to take everything in the red column. So my gray value, or my uh, my new image, my new grayscale image, is going to be equal to my original image, all the rows, all the columns in the red channel, times 0 0.299. We're going to add this to the image, all my rows, all my columns in my green channel, and we're going to multiply this by 0 0.587. And then we're going to say my image, all my rows, all my columns, and my blue channel, multiply this point 0.114. Let's run this, see how long this takes. Okay, so this took half a second. So to do this calculation took about half a second. To do it before took four minutes. So you can see this vectorized type of approach is much more efficient. Uh, and in the actual amount of time, it, the, my computer, there might be a lot of processes running. I'm recording. So if I did this with not uh, a lot of processes running, it might run faster. If I had games or something running, maybe it'll run a little slower. But you get the 
this is you know about a um, few magnitudes of 10 uh, faster than uh, open C, uh, uh, the for the for loops okay uh, so I also said I would show you how to do this with OpenCV first thing we need to do with OpenCV uh, we haven't used it before so we need to install it so right here we say pip pip install open cv python dash python open cv dot i already have this installed so my uh requirements will already be satisfied but now we can actually just import open cv so we go import cv2 so this is the import for open cv and right here what we're going to do is we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to say I am gray is going to be equal to. How do we do this? We need to use the convert uh, value. So CV2 dot CVT color. CVT color convert color is going to take in two arguments that we need. We need to give it the image and how we're converting. So my image is going to be my original image. What I'm converting it needs to be CV2. This needs to be all capital color. Now, if you go and look at the documentation, there's a lot of different things you can convert to. We are going to convert RGB to gray. So, CV2 is the import statement CV2. Oops. Then we use convert color. My image is my original source image. CV2.color RGB to gray. So, it's taking an RGB image. It's making it grayscale image. And it's saving it to I am gray right here. So, let's run this. And when we run this, this is going to take, okay, 0 0.007. So this is even faster than when we tried to do our own, uh, when we tried to do our own methods. OpenCV in many cases is a very, very optimized library. Uh, so sometimes it's, if you don't use it, you know, you don't know what's going on under the hood. But when you do use it, it's just, uh, it, it saves you a lot of time in writing your own code and how fast these uh, codes will actually run. So there we go. There's the RGB image right here, and here's the corresponding grayscale image using OpenCV. Thanks for watching. Hopefully now you have an idea on how you can convert, convert a color image to a grayscale image and the different methods you can use and the drawbacks of using some of those methods, even though they might be the easiest to understand, the, the looping method is going to be the slowest method that you have. And if you enjoyed this video and like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Please consider liking this video. It helps my videos get a lot more views and get more visibility. So thanks and until the next video.